Hi, I'm Dr. Hand. I teach flute at McNeese, and I want to talk to you today about vibrato. It's one of the things that flute players are expected to know how to do, and it will make your music so expressive. People love to hear vibrato on the flute. It is really just a fluctuation of the air. You blow harder and easier, harder and easier, but it's, it's sometimes complicated to figure out how to do it. So with, a, with no vibrato, an F would sound like this. It's clear, you want to try to make a clear tone before you try to use vibrato, but when you get when you can get a clear tone on every note, then we want to add some vibrato as an, as an expressive choice. So how do we do that? Colder, warmer air. Cold, warm, cold, warm. You can blow on your hand and feel it get colder and warmer. It's like saying ha 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 ha, but you're blowing. So Eventually, it feels like you're just doing it in your, with your ha-ha-ha muscles, but when you first learn it, it'll feel like you're using your breathing muscles in your abdomen, in your tummy, to be able to do that. So, we're going to start with a very slow pulse. If you have a metronome, you can put it on about 60 and try to match that. Just really exaggerate it so you can get the feel of it. And then try to do eighth notes with that 60 quarter note. And then triplets, and then sixteenth notes, and if you want to go to a group of five, you can think of the word university or opportunity. The faster it goes, the more it moves up into the ha-ha-ha muscles and out of the uh-uh-uh muscles. What you don't want to do is have the throat get involved, because then that chops it up and you get these little grunting noises. So we don't want anything from the throat. This is all got to be open. And you also want to make sure that it's not chopped up. It's got to be one steady note. So it's pretty fast air, but it's not. you don't have to blow really hard to use vibrato. So make sure that you practice those stages and then start trying to use it in a piece of music. You can use it on the long notes at first. Probably not on eighth notes, but quarter notes and half notes if the tempo is pretty slow. The higher the note, the harder it is to get that vibrato going. So when you practice, stay sort of inside the notes of the staff. It'll be easier to do. So good luck with your vibrato.